lovely, anything be pure, think upon these things. For you, according to your thoughts, will reap. For the Bible says that God will feed you the thoughts of your spirit, the thoughts of your heart, or that he will feed you the fruits of your thoughts. Your thoughts grow fruits. Some of you have heard us speak about the three minds of how that it works. And tomorrow night, if the Lord will let us, unless he takes us a different direction, we're going to speak a little more on the three minds, be a little more explicit concerning the three minds and how they work and the benefit of the right minds and the disadvantages of the wrong minds how they work, how they pertain to the human family, and what good they can do you, and what harm they can do you. So then, I want you to think on it, and tomorrow night, if the Lord's will, we'll talk to you some more about it, and connect it with what we have said tonight, and maybe enlarge upon it a little bit more. You love Jesus? Let's sing a little course together, can we? The other night, as we prayed for the sick, I really felt the anointing of God. I felt God healing the other night. <coughs> Folks, it was believing the other night. I believe sincerely from my heart. I believe that they received deliverance, and I believe that they were healed. I noticed the boy that come up from Macon, must have been in his early 20s that came over near the platform. I noticed when he come up, he really had problems. And the brother that brought him told me about the problems that he had. And as I went to pray for him, I could tell that he really had problems. But as I laid my hands on him, all of a sudden I, saw, I felt a sweep of the Holy Spirit and I felt it just like that. And I felt something snap just like you took fire and stuck it to a string. And I said, it just broke off of you. I felt it go. I felt it go. And when I did, I looked and tears had filled his eyes. And he told me or let me know that it had left, that it had broke. You know, it's so wonderful. As we talked to the young lady the other day when she came down, having had trouble with the bondage of an evil power, talking to her, while we talked to her under the anointing, all of a sudden I felt something come down and I felt the great Spirit of God just like that and I felt it snap. And I said, it's gone. I said, it just left you. I said, it just went away. Tears, I looked and tears had filled her eyes. I said, do you feel free? She let me know very quickly that she felt free and that she believed and that she knew something had happened to her. The other night, when we prayed for the lady that had had severe headaches for three weeks that had not let up as she sat there in the coach, and we prayed for her as we began to pray, I felt the great Holy Spirit again as he came down, and I felt him as he come sweeping down upon her and I said sister God just healed you God just loosed you from that pressure you should feel better right now she said I feel better right now I said it's gone right now she said it's gone right now and the pressure has lifted right now Jesus does that because he loves us it's because he loves us Pray for Solomon. Huh? Oh, okay. Pray for him. Let's just lift our hands up while we pray for the baby tonight. He's got something wrong with his eyes. Let's pray. And let's ask God to do something. Now, if you need something and you want to stand out here, it's all right. I appreciate 
Brother Dwight and Brother Gill's building this ramp for us. I asked uh, Brother Carnes if he'd get it built for me by tonight, and he didn't let me down. And I appreciate it so very much. Uh, I don't know whether this has slipped on the end over here or whether it's uh, just a little bit shy over there in the event that people should walk on it. But they did a real good job, and I thank the Lord for it because as the week goes on, we'll be praying for the sick night after night, and it makes it so much better. The other night I had to stoop way over like this, or either I had to bring them up here on the platform. But this way it brings them up to where I can pray for them, and it makes it so much better for me. I see Solomon is here tonight. A little boy right here the other night, he came to me and he told me, he said, I want to give my heart to God. I said, you do? He said, yeah. I said, I want you to tell me how that I can give my heart to Jesus. And so I told him and he gave his heart to Jesus. I think that's wonderful. The Bible said, out of the mouth of sucklings and babes, God has perfected praise. All right. Let's pray as we pray for the little one tonight. Let's pray together. Stretch your hands out in this direction with me, will you? Will you pray? The Bible said when you pray, believe. It's no need to pray unless you believe. A lot of people get disappointed because they pray and don't believe. And they say, well, God didn't answer me. But if you pray and then believe, God will answer you. But if you don't believe, God won't answer you. You must believe. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, as I pray for this little one, I ask you to touch this little one tonight. Heal these eyes, Father. I feel the wonderful presence of God here tonight. I feel the Holy Spirit because of your righteousness, because of your goodness. Lord, we live because of you. Heal tonight in the name of Jesus. Bless forgive and deliver tonight heal in the name of Jesus as we lay hands upon these people oh God touch him tonight touch little Solomon in the name of the son of God tonight as we pray father touch this minister tonight Lord as we pray for him in the name of Jesus Lord let him be healed let him be delivered let him be anointed Lord I feel his faith in the name of the son of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ heal and forgive and save in Jesus name touch this little one tonight oh God in the name of Jesus may your spirit oh God be here tonight and touch this little body touch Dave tonight in the name of Jesus father may your spirit be upon him tonight in Jesus name touch these people as I lay hands upon them may your great spirit be with them tonight to heal to save and forgive Lord, I ask for your blessings tonight upon this brother. May he be blessed tonight. May he be touched tonight. May your spirit come down upon him tonight. Touch his little lady tonight, Father, as we pray for her in Jesus' name. May your spirit be upon her to keep her little body healthy and whole in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, Lord of heaven, heal this little one tonight. Father, move the fever. Lord, touch his little body. May you heal him. I feel your great spirit right now. Heal and bless in Jesus' name. Bless this mother. Heal, forgive, touch her tonight in the wonderful name of the Son of God. May your spirit come down in a great and in a mighty way, Father. Hallelujah. I feel Jesus, don't you? I feel the blessings of God. As the week goes on, we're going to be praying for people and God's going to be healing and we're going to be praising Him for it. Praise God. I'll do it. Father, bless Jimmy. Lord, you've seen him lay aside the world of boxing. Dear God, when he had great advantage and great opportunity that he might be a Christian, Father, he laid it aside. Therefore, in the name of the Son of God, help him tonight to please you. Help him tonight, oh God, to look unto you. 
Father, anoint him, and dear God, he wants to grow in the revelation of Jesus. May your spirit be with him and with his wife, with his little children, to meet the needs, oh God, and to bless him in a great and a mighty way. I ask you to do it in Jesus' lovely name tonight. Hallelujah. Father, bless this brother tonight in the name of Jesus. May your spirit come down upon them. May he be touched tonight. May the heavenly Father grant him a blessing. May the greatness of your love and the greatness of your spirit and the greatness of your power be here tonight to heal and forgive in the wonderful name of Jesus, the wonderful Son of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you love Jesus tonight? I want you to step down here tonight and I want to pray for you as a whole. Just step down here for a few minutes. And I want to pray for you as a whole tonight and ask God to do something for you. The other night, some were hurt, some were moved, some were bothered because I didn't pray for some of you. The anointing was moving in a great and a mighty way. And I didn't pray for some of you, but I could not get to you. There were so many of you. I could not get to you. And that's why I asked him for this ramp right here. I asked him for this ramp right here. That's why they built it, so that I could get to you a little better. It makes it a whole lot better. I can get to you a little better and pray for you. And as the anointing begins to move, we're going to pray for you. Now we are praying for you. I'm a little tired in body tonight because I've been praying. Like the song we wrote one time when we were out in California many years ago, I've been a praying. And I've been a praying. And sometimes you get a little tired when you travail before God. But from night to night, we're going to pray for you. And we're going to ask God to do something for you. We're asking God to do something for you. We're asking God to move in these meetings and to move in these services and to break the yoke head and to bring down his wonderful love. I feel the joy of the Lord, don't you? The Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. I feel the joy of God. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost just talking. Brother Paul, tonight I feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. It's wonderful just to be a Christian. Isn't that right? It's wonderful just to be a Christian tonight. To feel the joy of the Lord. Folks, if you can't feel the joy of the Lord tonight, something's wrong with you tonight. Because I feel the joy of the Lord. No make believe about it. I feel the joy of the Lord. It's joy like a river. It's peace like a river. It's the power of God. It's that wonderful, great, overflowing artesian well that's springing up within your innermost being. That wonderful joy. Hallelujah, that wonderful joy. We sang that song, I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. Hallelujah, it's joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. Hallelujah, let's sing that little chorus together, can we? Oh, I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Oh, I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Hallelujah. You love Jesus tonight. I want you to lift your hands tonight. 
I want to pray for our sister tonight, if I can. Can I pray for you, sister? It's a real privilege to meet you tonight and to have you here. You've got a wonderful husband. Please, God. We want to pray for you tonight. Father, in the wonderful name of your lovely son, Jesus, Holy Father, bless this woman tonight. Father, you bless Brother Paul since he's been here. And oh, I felt the Holy Ghost upon him the other night. Father, let the wonderful Holy Ghost be upon this person. May the great Holy Spirit overshadow this person and feel shy. May your spirit, Father, may the joy of the Lord come down and the greatness of your spirit and the power of your deliverance tonight go into this heart and into this life. If there be any physical defect, Lord, we want you to heal them tonight. Heal them. Oh, God, grant this, Lord. They've let us use this arena for your glory. Heal these people, Father. Strengthen these people. Bless these people. Save these people in the wonderful name of the lovely Son of God. I ask it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I've got joy like the river. I've got joy like the river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. Oh, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Sing it one more time. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Hallelujah. Can you praise the Lord tonight? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you praise the Lord tonight? Lift your hand and praise the Lord tonight. Let's praise God tonight. Let's praise God tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Let's praise God tonight. I feel the glory of God. I feel the blessings of God tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. I feel the love of God tonight. I feel the healing of God tonight. The great Spirit of the Lord moving here tonight. If you'll just reach out, God will give you what you want. If you'll just reach out, God will give you what you want tonight. God will give you a blessing tonight. God will give you a healing tonight. God will give you a deliverance tonight. He'll do something for you. Hallelujah. You'll go away saying it was good to be here in the house of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Like a river, I've got peace. Like a river, I've got peace. Like a river in my soul. I've been waiting through deep waters trying to get home. I've been waiting yeah. through deep waters I sure trying do. to get home. I'll pray for them. I believe God will heal through deep waters. I've been waiting through David deep waters. David Shua. I've been waiting through deep Chua. waters trying to A get Chua. home. David is Shua. Gonna sit down at the well. Hallelujah. When I get home. Praise God. Lift your hands up and love Jesus. What a wonderful feeling. What a wonderful feeling. Hallelujah. Jesus will do something for you. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweet Spirit, sweep over my soul. For my rest, it is complete. While I sit at your feet, oh, sweet Spirit, sweep over my soul. For I have anchored my soul in your haven 
have rest and I'll show the wild seas no more though the tempest may sweep over the wild stormy deep but in Jesus I am safe evermore for I've anchored my soul but in God's haven I'll rest and I'll sail the wild seas no more though the tempest did may sweep over the wild stormy deep but in Jesus I am safe evermore don't you love Jesus tonight don't you love Jesus tonight hallelujah I wouldn't trade Jesus for all of the world would you I wouldn't trade eternal life I wouldn't trade eternal life for all that the world has to offer tonight I had rather have eternal life tonight I'd rather have the blessings of God tonight I had rather be with the people of God tonight than to have all that the world can afford hallelujah you know Jesus has been good to us he's blessed us he's been with us he's healed us there's been accredited to our account a few million dollars but you know what I wouldn't give Jesus tonight for all of the world I wouldn't give Jesus tonight for all everything heap upon heap I had rather be a Christian I'd rather be a child of God tonight I'd rather have God Jerry than anything in this world tonight Jesus Jesus you know I look out upon the audience so many times in the different countries where we go and in the different places and across the different parts of the United States and I see people with such superficial makeup in the sense of salvation that's never felt a real experience with God that's never known the touch of the divine Holy Spirit and that lives day after day in a world of make-believe and I feel so sorry for them because I know the reality of serving Jesus and I know the glory of his love and presence I know the rest and the healing and the salvation and the deliverance I know that wonderful peace that comes down from God. Hallelujah. What a wonderful thing tonight to be acquainted with the reality of Jesus. To love Jesus. To have God as a living reality in your soul and in your heart. If you love him tonight, lift your hands one more time. Can you do that? Can you tell him tonight that you love him? Can you say, Jesus, Jesus, I love you. I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus you know you say but I've made mistakes brother Pike I've made mistakes too you say but brother Pike I'm no good I'm no good either you say but brother Pike I'm just not good enough for salvation I'm not good enough either but I thank God that Jesus is good enough I thank God that Jesus didn't make any mistakes I thank God that Jesus is all good and none bad. I'm glad tonight to know that God has accepted Jesus and his righteousness in my behalf. Hallelujah. So tonight, I can lift up my heart. I can lift up my head. I can lift up my soul. I can praise him. I can thank him for salvation. I can thank him for forgiveness. Why? Because Jesus loved me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should have everlasting life. And it shall come to pass that whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Call ye upon the name of the Lord while he is near. Call ye upon the name of the Lord while he is near. Draw nigh to God and God will draw nigh to you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Give praise and honor and glory to his wonderful name. Forget not all of his benefits, David said. Give praise and glory to the God of salvation. Lift up your soul and heart and God will give you new strength and God will give you new courage. It doesn't matter if you're old. It doesn't matter if you're young. God will give you new strength. God will give you a new vision. God will give you a new hope. Moses was 80 years old, but the Bible said his eyesight had not waxed dim. The natural sources of his body wasn't abated. At 80 years old, he was still like a young man. And at 80 years old, God called him into a ministry for 40 years by preaching the gospel and delivering the people because he had faith in God. If you'll have faith in God tonight, God will do something for you. God will do something outstanding. God will heal you. God will give you that special blessing, that special treat that you're looking for. All you've got to do is love him. All you've got to do is call on him. All you've got to do is give him a chance because God wants to help you. He will help you. God will help you. He will lift you up. He will strengthen you. He will come nigh unto you. He's the present help in the time of need. He'll make you happy. We sing that little chorus. God has made me happy. God has made me glad. God can make you glad tonight. I want to sing that little chorus with you tonight while you're praising God. And I want you to see if God has made you glad the way that he's made me glad. Hallelujah. Give me a key over there, Sue, and let's see if we can sing that together. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that my Lord hath made. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Oh, Jesus made me glad. Jesus made me glad. I will rejoice for Jesus made me glad. Oh, Jesus made me glad. Jesus made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Do you love him tonight? You know, I said the other night while we were over in Haiti, and there as a hundreds of people gathered in to hear the gospel, they praised God till the perspiration poured. They pressed in to be prayed for with eagerness until they had to hold the people off because they believed their faith was so outstanding until they were pushing like a team of horses because they wanted to be healed. They wanted to be saved. They wanted to know about Jesus. When we were over in Grand Cayman Island, they said we had the biggest meeting that they'd ever had in that island when they knocked the sides out of the church there for the people to come and Brother Taylor sang until the perspiration poured and faces was literally covered with sweat as they praised God and sang the wonderful glorious songs of Zion. Around the different parts of the world, people praise God. But you know, America is getting farther and farther away from God. America is getting colder and colder, and the Spirit is withdrawing more and more. But in the far and flung places, in South America, in Central America, in the far and fields, in Europe and other places, people are calling on the name of Jesus. And they're beginning to cry out for the name of Jesus. You know what? I, being an American, here in America I think we need to call on Jesus and we need to cry out to Jesus I want to keep the spirit of God in America don't you I don't care about it going to the heathen countries I'm glad for God to go but I don't want God to leave America I want God here in America I don't want cold callous 
dead formal churches to where you can't feel God and all you hear is some intellectual person get up and make a speech every Sunday morning. I want to feel God's presence. It's going to take God's spirit to bring us up from the dead, folks. It's going to take God's spirit to resurrect us. You love Jesus? The Bible said, if this spirit be in you that raised up Christ from the dead, he shall also by his mortal body or by his spirit quicken your mortal body with the spirit that dwelleth within you. Is that right? By this great spirit, he will quicken your mortal body. If you can feel that quickening tonight, then you're on the main line, as the song said. If you can't feel that quickening tonight, then you don't have his spirit. And the Bible said, if you don't have his spirit, you're none of his. If you want to be resurrected from the dead, then you're going to have to have that quickening spirit. You're going to have to get that quickening spirit on the inside of your body, or you won't be resurrected from the dead. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to take the power of the resurrection. Jesus said, I am that quickening spirit. For the last man, Adam, was made a quickening spirit. I am the power of the resurrection. I am the quickening spirit. If I live inside of you, I will quicken your body. Paul said, there remaineth nothing but the quickening. The quickening. If you don't have the quickening, you don't have the resurrection. If you have the quickening, then you have the resurrection. So, you know, even the Quakers of old, years ago, way back in John Wesley's day when he established the Methodist Church. That's one thing about old brother John Wesley. He believed in the quickening. They called him the sanctifying, but they believed in the quickening. That's right. Way back with the Quakers, even in the days of the Quakers back there, they believed in the quickening. Isn't that right? Way back with the Quakers, they believed in the quickening. You need the quickening, folks. You know, I noticed in the day that we're living in, the Methodists, the Baptists, the Presbyterian, the Catholics, the Pentecostals, all of them together, the Jesus name, all of them are coming together believing in the quickening. They're beginning to learn that there's no resurrection without the quickening and they're beginning to look for the quickening. But you know what? We need to be careful because it's in this hour that the danger comes. But the Bible said they all was asleep at that midnight cry and when that midnight cry came they all awoke but when they all awoke they began to say our lamp is gone out our light is burning no more we have no more oil give us some of that quickening and they started looking for the quickening but it was too late it was too late it was too late because the church had already been sealed in and God already had them ready for the rapture so if there's any time left Let's get ready tonight. If there's any time left, let's get ready tonight. Let's get the quickening in our heart. Let's get salvation in our soul. Let God come into your life and quicken you. Quicken your mortal body to righteousness, to holiness, to godliness, to pureness, to virtue, and to that eternal awakening of inspiration and joy. Let God do it tonight for you. And if you'll let God do it tonight for you, you'll be glad. You'll be glad. He'll make your heart glad. We're going to sing one more chorus, and we're going to let you go. But I want you to praise God for a few more minutes. The Bible said, examine yourselves and see if you be in the faith. See if you be in the faith. Faith cometh by the hearing of the word. See if you've got your mind on the word. See if your heart is established in the word. See if the convictions that you've got comes from the word. See if your convictions is from ideas or from church entity or from something that somebody's told you or from your ancestors or if it's a formality like the Jews had that come from the elders, the tradition of the elders, or see if it's the word of God and see if your faith in believing tonight is in the conviction of the word of God. If so, be that you are convicted in God's word word, then you have faith tonight. I say this so often in the latter days, the Bible said they shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And a lot of people today have seared their conscience. The Bible said they're past feeling. They don't have any conviction in the word of God. They don't know what they believe in because they don't know the word of God. And they don't have any conviction except what somebody has told them or what they've heard or what they've read out of some book or what the tradition of the elders have given them. They don't have any understanding of the word. Therefore, they can't have any faith in it because they don't even know what it says. And they are departing from the word of God. But brother, sister, let's have faith in the word. 
Let's have faith in the word. Let's learn what the word says line upon line and precept upon precept. Let's go where the word is preached. Let's not listen to vain janglings and look for worldly entertainment, but let's look for God's word for salvation and for eternal life. Because once they throw the dirt in your face, that's the end of you and you'll never get up out of that hole. So far as salvation, unless you got the quickening. And it's coming to each and every one. We sang that song, you got to walk that lonesome valley. you got to go there by yourself. There's no one here that can go there for you. you got to go there by yourself. All right. Let's sing this song together, can we? I love him. Now the Bible said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Mm. I love him. I love him because he first loved me and deeper just my salvation on Calvary's tree one more time I love him I love him brother Richard because he first loved me and be just my salvation on Calvary's tree. I praise the Lord tonight for every one of you. Certainly glad to have you here. I trust that every one of you will be back with us tomorrow night. Appreciate so much having Brother Paul's companion out with us tonight. Look forward to him coming out. I've been looking for Curly to come out. I thought sure he'd been out but now. But I'm sure that, that uh, him and Roberta will be out before long. He must have got caught away in a meeting somewhere. But we're thankful to be here tonight. We appreciate you. We want you to come back and be with us. We're looking for a greater meeting on toward the weekend. We're praying for that. Got Brother Richard, the Jew, up here with us tonight. Richard is a miracle. God healed Richard when they couldn't do anything for him. The medical profession couldn't do anything for him. God picked him up and completely healed him. And it's a great miracle. And he's with us tonight. I appreciate him so very much. It's wonderful to see a Jewish person converted to the faith. And he's working fervently with others, trying to convert more Jews to the faith of Jesus Christ. He works with us a lot of times in the colleges and different places in helping the people that are there to find Jesus. And I appreciate it. He's trying to enlarge upon that. And God is blessing him in it. So tonight, it's a privilege to have him here with us. And I want you to just close your eyes as Brother Richard comes to pray the closing prayer tonight. I want you to close your eyes and just call on the name of Jesus as our brother prays with us tonight. And ask God to do something special in your life tonight. And I know that he will. Precious Father in heaven, Father in heaven, hallelujah, 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 Lord. Father in heaven, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for this meeting, Lord, for this opportunity to gather here, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for this opportunity to gather here, Lord, for your blessings, Lord. For your mercy and kindness, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. 
precious Lord. We thank you for your many blessings and kindness, Lord. Ask you to go with us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go with us, Lord, to guide us, Lord. Yes, Lord, and I pray, Lord, yet if, if there's anyone here that's not saved, Lord, that doesn't have you, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you'll help them, Lord. You'll touch them, Lord. You'll help them to find your love, Lord. You'll touch them, Lord, and, and lead them to you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And, Lord, we ask you to go with us, Lord. Go with us, Lord, and guide us, Lord. Help us to keep these things in our hearts, Lord, and our minds, Lord. Yes, Lord, to enlarge upon a vision for you, Lord, and a concern for others, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, and we thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord, and, and ask these things in your, in your name, Lord, your wonderful name, Jesus, Lord, the name Jesus that means I am that I am saves. In Jesus' name, amen.